Hello, who are you? Did you know some Pokemon only come out at night? <laughs> battle! Student Spencer would like to battle. Student Spencer sent out a Hoot Hoot, which is one of those things that only comes out at night. Uh-oh, I'm a little under-leveled here. Let's, uh, switch things around a bit. And go... Go, my gr alligator. Eat the owl. Toted Owl is identified. I, you know, Foresight probably does something, but I have a confession to make. I never actually figured out what it did and say, He used Foresight. The other Pokemon was identified. <laughs> There's a Totodile over there, alright. Yup, 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 yup. Enemy used Growl, attack fell. Well, that did something at least. Maybe Foresight uh, increases the amount of damage that... But if you keep using Foresight, it's not going to help. <laughs> Scratch. <laughs> he unhooted somehow. That rabbit gained 66 experience at Grudel level 5. Cool. Level 6, okay. Move the bird quick attack. Alright. Hoot Hoot was just sleepy. He, and I got $192 for winning. So let's head into the big brick wall. Huh. Guess not. So let's... Oh. <sighs> let's try again. Oh, hello, item. What's this thing hold? I found an antidote, which I just bought from the Pokemart, thanks a lot. Let me guess, I have to go all the way around here, yep. Well, this is still a pretty small forest, all things considered. Hi there! Let's see if you can get past my defenses. How about I get past your braces when I punch your teeth out? B Bug catcher is going to like to battle, and send out a Kakuna. Ah, I remember Kakuna. Kakuna couldn't do shit. As I recall, all Kakuna knew was a uh, Harden. Yeah, like that. Which would raise its defense. And not much else. Whap. <laughs> Whap. <laughs> time for a long, long, long time of weapon and weapon. Actually, if you raise it up from a Weedle, as I recall, it would still remember the move, uh, move String Shot and Poison Sting which actually were pretty useful in their own right and made it easier to evolve it into a Beedrill, which for, the, which for early game was actually a decent poison type. Well, down you go. 92 experience points, mine, thank you very much. Oh, dang, I'm leveling up fast. Bucket Ricky's about to send in a Metapod. Will I switch? Yes, I will. Hmm. I think I'll go with, uh, you now. Now, Metapod was pretty much the exact same as a Kakuna, only difference was... Oh, crap, Ola, this is going to stink, isn't it? Anyways, as I recall, Metapod uh, had a similar feature that it only used Harden, but it actually also had the ability to evolve into a much, much better Pokemon, Butterfree, which could use Psychic Attacks which could get you past Brock's gym if you didn't feel like getting a Mankey, which was impossible if you had Pokemon Yellow. So that's how Metapod's design works. You know, I could never figure that out when I was a kid. It looked very different in Pokemon Stadium, and, uh... But this looks a lot more like the sprite from Red and Blue, so which makes me think that this is probably what it was originally supposed to look like. <clears throat> cool. Womp. And now... Go away. Maybe I should attack more. <laughs> no shit! Maybe I should just sit there and cover my face when people attack me. Nope, you don't seem to have anything worth uh, talking to about. What the hell are you supposed to be? Oh, you're another trainer. Are you... It's so pleasant to see fellow trainers in the woods. Now let's beat the shit out of them. Picnico Lucy would like to fight, and sent out a female Nidoran. Let's kick some behind. Alright. As I recall, the Nidoran family was actually pretty decent, especially since uh, you could evolve them very quickly after they got to their second form using a Moonstone. Nidoran family was also tough simply because they had a 
propensity for using poison-type attacks, but also because they could learn an insane number of different attacks that simply weren't related to their type, so they were excellent for shoring up weak points on any team. It's like, well, you don't have a fire type? That's just fine. Neither King can use can learn Fire Blast. Don't have an Ice type? That's fine. Neither Queen can learn Blizzard. So the more you used them, the better they got. Neither Rand's Poison Point. Red Robin was poisoned. Crap. That's not good. Red Robin's defense was not lowered. <laughs> Since I got a big pick. <laughs> Thank you very much. Boob. And down you go. Sweet! Up to level 8, thank you very much. That was rather disappointing. Yeah, I'll say. Now, the more you wander around, the more damage poison does. So I'm going to give... an antidote to Red Robin. Who's on which Pokemon? This one. Excellent. So is this the way to... No, wait, this is the other way around. Oh, come on! A wild Spinarak appeared. Whoopty shit. Too bad I don't know any uh, flying type attacks. Those would be very useful for setting you on flying. What the? I understand Red Robin is a uh, combination fire and flying type. Too bad I don't know any fire attacks yet. I was gonna say, uh, oh, for Pete's sakes. What is it? My Nidoran and I are looking for a good challenge. Hey, there's a girl over there who you might like to talk to. Never mind. Alrighty then. I should have sent out uh, Zigzagoon there. My defense was not lowered. Good. No, actually, you know what? Let's just keep attacking with... Uh, Red Robin, and we'll change our lineup in the next after the fight. Let's get pumped! Get real pumped! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was disappointing. We'll do better next time. You better, cause I can't, I can't see how you could do anything worse. He's getting pumped. He's getting pumped. He's getting aww. Sue. So, Next! As I understand, I think the way that it works is that female Pokémon have a higher defense while male Pokémon have a higher attack, but I could be all wrong. Hey lady! You got my shit! Well darn, looks like he caught up to me. It's my fault for running into the dead end. The bridge was under construction, so hiding here was my only option. Say so I want this necklace back, huh? No, you can keep it. Well too bad, Team Eclipse doesn't return what they earn. That's right, kid, I'm a member of Team Eclipse. The only way I'd let you have your precious brick back is if you beat me in a Pokemon battle. But let's face it, you're just a fresh new trainer. There's no way you can beat me. This is the part where I just grab her by the neck. Give it back now. Linda sent out a Poochina. Hmm. Oh, great. I wonder what attacks he has. Probably something dangerous. Sand attack? Oh, no! No! I hate sand attack. It does that. It lowers your, uh... It lowers your accuracy so you can't attack. Worth a darn. More sand attacks, huh? Well, if he does nothing but sand attacks, I might actually come on top here. The most embarrassing loss I ever had in a Pokemon fight was when I was facing literally a Sand Shrew with a Gyarados and it kept using Sand Attack and using Sand Attack and using Sand Attack until I couldn't touch it anymore and I lost simply because I had pretty much zero accuracy by that point. Anyways, I'm gonna switch out to Totodile. Why? Because he might actually use more do more damage to you. Then I want to train him up a little more. Sploosh. Well, that was the end of you. And I get 66 experience. And you get 66 experience. Hooray! And I learned, I learned sand attack! Now it's my turn to hurt someone. Panchum? You know what? I won't switch out. 
Hello, you panda freak. <clears throat> you know what? You look like a tough guy. Arm thrust. Hit twice. Oh, it's that sort of attack. So I'll just keep raging on. Over oh, Pete's sakes. Ow! Toadal's rage raised its attack. Hit four times. Wonder what sort of at attack power it'll have now. Boom. Quite a bit, as it turns out. Come on, not too much. Not too much. Not too much! Not too. Oh, too much. And down a go. Well, I've still got a pretty decent birdie here. So. Boop. One thrust. Two thrusts. Three thrusts. Ah, ah, ah. So, with any luck. Oh, yes! A tackle and not a quicket. And not an arm thrust, which would have really hurt. Down you go! That was useful. But Robin learned the move Peck. Beaten by a kid. Ugh. What do you call yourself then, lady? What? How could this happen? Oh, this really isn't good. The boss is going to be so disappointed in me. Fine, here, take your necklace back. Team Eclipse will be back for it, though. We always get what we want. Yeah, Good job getting your necklace back. She was one of those Team Eclipse people. I wonder what their problem is. Anyway, it's clear you can't really trust anyone to find your parents for you right now. If Team Eclipse really did take them, you'll need a strong team of Pokemon to beat them. A great way to strengthen your Pokemon is to challenge the gym leaders in Roria. There are eight gym leaders in Roria. And who knows, maybe while traveling you learn more information on what might have happened to your parents. Anyway, there's a gym in the next town over. I suggest we start there. Don't worry, we'll get your parents back. Now let's go. Okay, <laughs> let's go into the darkness.